Saint Exenia lived during the 18th century, but little is known of her life or of her family. She passed most of her life in Petersburg during the reigns of the empresses Elizabeth and Catherine II. Xenia Grigoryevna Petrova was the wife of an army officer, Major Andrew Petrov. After the wedding, the couple lived in St. Petersburg. St. Xenia became a widow at the age of 26 when her husband suddenly died at a party. She grieved for the loss of her husband and especially because he died without confession or holy communion. Once her earthly happiness ended, she did not look for it again. From that time forward, Exinia lost interest in the things of this world and followed the difficult path of foolishness for the sake of Christ. The basis for this strange way of life is to be found in the first epistle to the Corinthians. The Lord strengthened her and helped her to bear sorrow and misfortune patiently for the next 45 years. She started wearing her husband's clothing and insisted that she be addressed as Andrew Fedorovich. She told people that it was she and not her husband who had died. In a certain sense, this was perfectly true. She abandoned her former way of life and experienced a spiritual rebirth. When she gave away her house and possessions to the poor, her relatives complained to the authorities. After speaking to Exinia, the officials were convinced that she was in her right mind and was entitled to dispose of her property as she saw fit. Soon she had nothing left for herself, so she wandered through the poor section of Petersburg with no place to lay her head. She refused all assistance from her relatives, happy to be free of worldly attachments. When her late husband's red and green uniform wore out, she clothed herself in rags of those colors. After a while, Exinia left Petersburg for eight years. It is believed that she visited holy elders and ascetics throughout Russia, seeking instruction in the spiritual life. She may have visited St. Theodore of Sanaxar, who had been a military man himself. His life changed dramatically when a young officer died at a drinking party. Perhaps this officer was St. Exinia's husband. In any case, she knew St. Theodore and profited from his instructions. St. Exinia eventually returned to the poor section of Petersburg, where she was mocked and insulted because of her strange behavior. When she did accept money from people, it was only small amounts, which she used to help the poor. She spent her nights praying without sleep in a field outside the city. Prayer strengthened her, and in her heart's conversation with the Lord, she found the support she needed on her difficult path. When a new church was being built in a Smolensk cemetery, St. Exinia brought bricks to the site. She did this in secret during the night so that no one would know. Soon her great virtue and spiritual gifts began to be noticed. She prophesied future events affecting the citizens of Petersburg and even the royal family. Against her will, she became known as someone pleasing to God and nearly everyone loved her. They said Exinia does not belong to this world, she belongs to God. People regarded her visits to their homes or shops as a great blessing. Saint Exinia loved children, and mothers rejoiced when the childless widow would stand and pray over a baby's crib or kiss a child. They believed that the blessed one's kiss would bring that child good fortune. Saint Exinia lived about 45 years after the death of her husband and departed to the Lord at the age of 71. The exact date and circumstances of her death are not known, but it probably took place at the end of the 18th century. She was buried in the Smolensk Cemetery. By the 1820s, people flocked to her grave to pray for her soul and to ask her to intercede with God for them. So many visitors took earth from her grave that it had to be replaced every year. Later, a chapel was built over her grave. Those who turn to St. Exinia in prayer receive healing from illness and deliverance from their afflictions. She is also known for helping people who seek jobs. 